Karbala is a very ancient city. It has been known of since Babylonian times and its name dates from before the Islamic conquests. It is an Iraqi Islamic city, mostly famous in pre-Islamic times and possesses a great and varied history. Most notably, it witnessed the unique event which was notable martyrdom and sacrifice of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, on the 10th of Muharram, 61 after the Hijrah. Located about 105 kilometers southwest of the capital Baghdad, Karbala lies on the edge of the desert west of the Euphrates River and on the left side of the Husseiniya Canal. To the west and north is Al Anbar province. Najaf province borders the city from the south, while the eastern side leads to Babylon province and some outlying districts of Baghdad. The climate is damp, very hot in summer, and mild in autumn. Its land is watered by the canals of the Euphrates River. Karbala has many orchards. It has flat lands suitable for various forms of agriculture and all sides of the city are surrounded by fruit trees and palm groves. Some researchers say the name Karbala means closeness to God and that is of ancient Babylonian origin. Others think that the meaning derives from the Babylonian Kurbabil, which reflects to the Babylonian town Hur, now called Ha'ir in Arabic, meaning the land which refused to allow water into it. This was said when al mutawakkil al-Abbasi ordered to destroy the grave of Imam Hussein by water. However, the water stopped short and did not harm the holy grave. In another view, the word Karbala was thought to be a compound Assyrian word, the first part being Karb, meaning sanctuary, and the second is Allah, meaning God, thus forming the word the sanctuary of God. Some scholars also maintain that it is a composite noun in the Arabic language, formed of Karb, meaning grief, and Bala, meaning misfortune. Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, was born on Thursday, the 3rd of Sha'ban, in the fourth year of the Hijrah. He is the second son of Imam Ali. His elder brother was Imam al Hassan. Thus, he is the second grandson of the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad. His mother, Lady Fatima, was the daughter of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. The greatness and nobility of this family is reflected in the personality of Imam al Hussein. طبعا حقيقة تزدحم مدينة كربلاء بآثار ضخمة ومهمة. Karbala's history goes back to the BC era, when antiquities, including a series of 400 caves, were discovered. These caves, dating back to 1200 BC, were located on the right side of the Tar Valley, which represented the old Euphrates River before the founding of Al Razaza Lake. Al Qasir or sometimes called al is another antiquity which dates back to the 5th century AD, containing various drawings and Aramaic scripts referring to the Christian belief, according to the studies conducted by researchers and archaeologists. But the actual history of Karbala begins with the arrival of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, at the plain of Karbala in Muharram 61 after the Hijrah. In the centuries since the martyrdom of Imam al Hussein, Karbala developed into one of the most famous Islamic cities. Indeed, the city is also known as the city of al Hussein.
The Martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, at Karbala, 10th of Muharram, 61 after Hijrah. Al Mukhtar ibn Ubaid al Thaqafi built the mosque around the site of the holy grave with a dome over the grave. Two entrance doors were added to the mosque in 65 after the Hijrah. In 132 after the Hijrah, a roof for the shrine was built during the reign of the Abbasid Caliph Abu al Abbas al Safah. In 247 after the Hijrah, after the Caliph and Mutawakkil destroyed the shrine, Al Muntasar reconstructed it. Sultan Uwais ibn al Hassan al Jala'iri rebuilt the dome and walls that were built by the Buwayhid Amir al Zadola in 767 after the Hijrah. The Safavid Shah Abbas the Great had a grill of copper constructed over the grave and the dome covered with Kashani tiles in 1032 after the Hijrah. In 1211 after the Hijrah, Shah Muhammad Qajar covered the dome in pure gold. In 1217 after the Hijrah, the Wahhabis attacked Karbala, destroyed the shrine and looted the sepulcher. The king of Persia, Fatih Ali Shah al Qajari, reconstructed what the Wahhabis had destroyed in 1232 after the Hijrah. The Ministry of Endowments built an outer wall 11.3 meters high around the Holy Shrine in 1400 after the Hijrah. During the Sha'ban uprising 1412 after the Hijrah, random shelling by mortar tanks led by Hussein Kamil, the son-in-law of Saddam Hussein, targeted and damaged some of the parts of the walls of the two shrines, in addition to killing thousands of innocent people of Karbala, a year after the shrines were rebuilt by the Ministry of Endowments. With the authorization of the highest committee formed by the highest religious authority to manage the holy shrines of Karbala, campaign of development for the Holy Shrine was initiated. It included